And finally, Fred Dibner, Britain's fearless steeplejack, has met his match, a tomcat called Ginger. Ginger climbed a chimney Fred was working on and can't get down. And when Fred tried to fetch him, Ginger went up even higher. So what does Fred plan to do about him? Well, we've had a, a meeting. <laughs> well, the fire brigade, the RSPCA and me, and we've decided that if we leave it up there all night, you know, it might get so bloody fed up and hungry that it might come down on its own. Failing that, it's all in my job up, you know. I mean, I've got a few hundred pounds here at stake, you know, I can't be held up with a bloody tomcat. Well, Fred does plan to go after Ginger tomorrow again, and he says he'll take a big sack with him. Finally, what goes up must come down, and he has. George, the ginger cat, who climbed a 160-foot chimney stack yesterday and then got stuck, has been rescued. But not by chief chimney toppler Fred Dibner, as planned. Fred had gone for his dinner when along came Jerry. The ginger tomcat had been up the chimney for nearly 30 hours. It was pacing about and crying, and even Fred Dibner didn't know what to do next. It's stuck on there with bloody glue, I'm sure, you know, uh, and fear. Is it uh, hissing at Oh, yeah. Well, it no, hissing? it's meowing. It's meowing. Yeah, but so it's very pitifully, you know. Um. Then came a stranger to the scene, a man from the animal sanctuary in Manchester. He climbed straight up the ladder while Fred was away. Don't know went up. We've sent for the police anyway yeah. to get him down. They won't get him down, you'll be me who will get him down. Oh, but they book him, I suppose, I don't know. At the top, the man coaxed the ginger tom gently along the ledge, and when it was just within reach, he grabbed it by the scruff of the neck and pulled it into his arms. But how to get it down? Fred came to the rescue now and climbed up the ladder with the cat basket. Between them, they transferred the cat inside, and with the lid firmly closed, the ginger tom was lowered down to the ground, crying out all the way. Back on the ground, all they had to offer the ginger tom was a tin of dog food. But that was better than nothing for a cold and hungry cat that had spent so long on a chimney top.